wouldn't you protect your child at any cost? I would. Today, we're going to discuss the Brian Laundry case. Let's go back to the very beginning of this case when Gabby was first found missing. Shortly after that, they began showing videos that Gabby had posted of their, her and Brian's trip across country. And as I was watching them, things just didn't quite add up. My first thought was, these videos are fake. There's something not right. You would see Gabby and Brian share a little intimate moment of kissing. And boy, was it little. Good Lord, that was those were the fastest kisses I ever saw. I mean, and they were away from each other. And the other thing I noticed about them was if you would watch Gabby's face, she would kiss him. And there would be this very blah kind of look on her face. But then out of nowhere, she would just smile. And I went, oh, Gabby, what's with the fakety here? It just was so sad. I'm thinking, these two are supposed to be fiance no there's there's something very wrong in this relationship and then later we were to find out that sure enough there was definitely something wrong in that relationship both physical and mental abuse just terrible situation I'd like to send my condolences to the Petito family. I'm so sorry for your loss. And I hope that we find Brian soon. Because you do deserve more answers than you've been given. Brian... I want to appeal to you, son. You need to step up and turn yourself into the authorities. What you've done is wrong. And we all know, I mean, I know we're supposed to go with the court of laws and all oh, presumed innocent until guilty, proven guilty. Baloney. Brian, son, you blew that whole thing out of the water when you just up and took off. Dear Lord, no innocent person's going to just disappear. Come on. And to the laundry family... I'm so sorry that you too have lost out because either way, you too are going to lose your son. And you must be having one hell of a struggle right now trying to decide what to do. Do we turn him in? No, no, we can't. That's our baby. I, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. And I'm sorry that your son has placed you in this position. But you too need to, for your son's own sake, come forward and be really honest and tell the FBI where he is. I just, my own gut feeling, and this is just me, feel that Brian is very close to home. I don't know why. 
I just do. I feel that he's someplace near where his family can get to him, give him provisions, uh, whatever, to make sure he's safe. If I'm wrong, and he really is out there in the wilderness, I fear that he may not still be alive because from what I understand, he's a good survivalist, survivalist, excuse me, but he's not great. And he's been out there way too long. Way too long. Now, I want to talk to Molly she knows who she is and all of those of you who are protesting right on the property and in the street in front of the laundry home you guys come on get off the property knock the crap off you're bordering on harassment now, Molly. A megaphone, really, yelling through the megaphone at the Laundry family. It's not your job. It's none of you people's job. You need to step away and let the FBI do their job. Stop and think what both of these families are going through and have a little compassion. And you've got no right sticking signs and posters and whatever else all over their property. I'm telling you. And then you have the nerve to call one of the policemen a lazy guy just standing around. Well, no, he's not just standing around there, Molly. He's there to get you off the property where you don't belong. And dog. Dog the bounty hunter. You and your people need to leave this case alone, too. You've got no right being involved in it. Good Lord, all you want is fame and money. Well, guess what? It's not your job, either. You're not even qualified to be out there. Everybody's just judging. Let's judge this and let's judge that about the case. And you don't even have all the facts. None of us do. Only the FBI has everything. We are making judgments based on the bits of pieces of information that we do have. We need to leave this case to the FBI and watch and see what happens. Okay, so yeah, we know that the police bungled it in the beginning by letting Brian just wander off right after Gabby went missing. I mean, come on, give me a break. You don't just up and lose him. But hey, this isn't the first case I've seen this happen in. So, you know, it probably won't be the last. But at any rate, America, if anything at all, we need to stop and give both of these families our prayers, our thoughts, and our uncompassionate love. 